in this session we're going to look at how to use the stock synchronization option. I've got three companies, 001, 002 and 003. For all three of those companies I have gone to the Enterprise Settings tab and I have made sure that Enable Stock Group Synchronizations on and that all of them have got the same stock grouping number. Now I'm going to go to Stock and Maintenance and I'm going to edit one of my stock items. You see, here's a stock item that I currently have. I'm going to edit the item. I'm going to change two options. I'm going to change the description. Instead of an L, I'll type out the word large and I'm going to change one of my selling prices. Remember, stock synchronization will, if set up, change selling prices. It's not going to change on-hand quantities and it will not change the unit cost of a stock item because each company have got their own on-hand quantities and each company have got their own cost levels. As soon as I click on Accept, it's going to now synchronize for me. Okay, so look at this item. Unit price has changed. I'm going to go to one of my other companies. Let's say we go to our branch 2 and I'll say stock maintenance. I'm going to scroll down and here you'll see that's the word that I've changed and there is the price. Now just to show you again, I'm now in company 003. I'm going to make another change. Let's say we want to change the second price to 270. I'm going to click on Accept. It's going to show you that it's going to update those other two companies. So if we go and open our company 002 and I go to my stock maintenance and I scroll down to my item, okay, you can see the changes were made there, the word large and 200, but there is the wholesale price change as well. Remember, it will synchronize for you in all three of those companies. It doesn't matter where you make the change. You can deselect certain options if you go to module parameters, stock and synchronization setup. You can manipulate your information. So make sure that your selections here is correct. And that concludes looking at stock maintenance and the synchronization option.